Hey, welcome to the Old Boys Podcast, Episode 2. We're here talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi. We're going like, to kind of break down what we think could happen, things we would like to maybe see. Now, I'm Jaren. Hey, old Brett. Howdy doodly, Brennan. Um, so yeah, Brett, go ahead and hit the theme song. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the last Jedi opens tomorrow. Um, I know we're all interested in seeing what it what's in store. I know oh, that um, the uh, the premiere happened and the reviews were kind of coming out that it was. They were saying it's very different from the previous. I like it movies. because I think a lot of them are very similar in just the structure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I I have been you know I was. With The Force Awakens, people always crap on it that it's too much like A New Hope, and I mm-hmm. I see the similarities, but I know there are there, there it is a film in its own. I look at each film as its own thing. That's why I'm not going in comparing Last Jedi to Empire. I know people are going to go in and compare Last Jedi to Empire Strikes Back, but when I, The Force Awakens, we we have to realize that we were Star Wars was a joke after the prequels, and for The Force Awakens to come in and be the biggest movie ever to open and you know, now we have Star Wars back, so I have to give it credit for that. And and so I knew, expecting going into the last uh, The Force Awakens, that we were going to get, you know, we needed that kind of story to set us up. We needed to get people interested and then bring back the old fans as well. With the Last Jedi, we don't have to introduce these characters; we already know them. We can jump right in with a deeper, darker story, and that's what I think we're going to get with the Last Jedi. Yeah, and even though people say that it was too much like A New Hope, I mean. To me, that's okay. Uh, I liked A New Hope. New Hope was good. So you go back to something that people liked previously and something that they have seen before. Now, it's and I don't think it's too similar, but for the people that think it is similar because it does have its, you know... Beats. Yeah, exactly. And it's and it's likewise in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, and I think, um, I think The Force Awakens was as good, if not better, than A New Hope because I think mostly what was so good about A New Hope is... The time that it came out and how revolutionary it was. Yeah. And that was just phenomenal. And, and people when, were just stunned. You know, people, they crap on, like, the, they had a new Death Star with the, um, what was that, pl- what was it called again? The Starkiller Base. <clears throat> yeah, Starkiller Base. Um, <laughs> it's, I, I, I kind of, like, when people get, oh, they're just redoing a new hope. Well, I was like, well, you realize that if you don't fix problems, history repeats itself. And so it is 30 years later, and it is kind of like history repeating itself. In a sense. But enough about the, the Force Awakens. We're here to talk about The Last Jedi. Brett, what are some things that you know you would like to see happen? Oh, God. I mean, I would really like to see them take the story where it's never been before and really just like... And I'd like to see the Grey Jedi theory and the new Force Order and them bringing a balance to the Force. I'd really like to see them do that. Because throughout all of Star Wars, they're always talking about bringing balance to the Force. They've never actually done it. And I'd love yeah. to see that. Yeah, I don't really uh, care for anything in particular that I want to see specifically, but I just want to see something super uh, dramatic. I don't want to see, you know, um, you know, Kylo Ren and Rey having a relationship. I know that's something that Jaren is thinking of, yeah. but uh, I, I just want to see it. Yeah, you need to tell us that in a minute. Yeah, anything that's just really shakes things up and makes it super dramatic, because I want to see Star Wars continue to thrive and, and move on, you know, not just after The Last Jedi, but years to come. And that's where I think the the whole Ray and Kylo Ren theory, my Raylo theory, I think that is what pushes it in a new direction. And it ties back to what both of you said is I, I when you're talking about Star Wars and they're like for years, decades, forever they've been talking about bringing balance to the force. And nobody's ever done it. Yeah. They only relied on one person. Well, you know what? Sometimes it doesn't ta- it takes more than one person to fix something. And I think Ray and Kylo Ren teaming up, whether it's you know a relationship like a, and they are in love, or whether it's they're teaming up to to restart the Sith, I think that will bring balance to the Force. And then in Episode Nine, you're living in a world where the Force has been balanced. What do you do when the Force has been balanced? Have you ever thought about what it would be post balanced? Uh, like what would they do? You, that's where I think you really got to get creative. I think if this movie set where, holy crap, Ray and Kylo Ren team up and they brought balance to the Force, 
Where do you go from there? That's the interesting story. I want to see that. I want to see that progression. What happens after? What happens after the there's been peace in the Middle East, you know? Stuff I want to know what what could develop after that. That's why I think Raylo is something new because you when have you ever seen the villain and the hero team up f- to to kind of I, it's it's really never been done the before. The answer is never that I can think yeah, of. And like in um in Return of the Jedi when Darth Vader turned to the light side, that's not that's really not, yeah, that's not teaming because up. Because they're there I don't think I think they're gonna leave their respective sides and team up and restart the Sith. Yeah. So then you've got the light side, the dark side, and then the Sith all of a sudden, you know. But, because uh, in the old yeah, republic they like, were like three kind factions. Of, in the old republic yeah. it was the Sith and the Jedi, but it, it was kind of mutually exclusive in a they they kind of had a respect for each other. It was until mm-hmm. the the balance was broken. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. And then now, what happens when they bring the third side in? Mm-hmm. If they did, yeah, like, like where does it go from all, there? It's what only happens? ever been two sides. What if there was a third? What if Kylo Ren and Rey both left their respective sides? They Rey leaves, tr- trying to become a Jedi. Kylo Ren, and what if they leave each other's respective side to restart and bring balance to the Force? And you know, I've been thinking about what if it's either they're either going to both fight Luke or they're both going to fight Snoke. Yeah, I think um, I think Kylo Ren is really like really undecided right now. Yeah, and I think him and Rey are. I don't know about like a a real relationship, but I think they're definitely going to have a connection. Yeah, and I think Rey is going to bring him over. The three of them with Luke, Rey, and Kylo Ren. I think they're all three going to. Bring balance to the force, and have you seen the new poster? With um, it has Luke on both sides, like he's above Kylo Ren, and then he's above Rey. Yeah. You seen that? That's pretty interesting. Yeah, I I, I um <clears throat> agree with that theory, except for um, you know, I agree that they're gonna have some sort of mutual connection, whether it just be a friendship or an actual relationship. And I think that Rey is gonna try and attempt to make him come to the light side. But I don't. Th- I think Luke is gonna know what Kylo Ren is uh, capable of, and he's not gonna allow that. And that would I never that would because Luke. I, I feel like Luke just knows, or he would that know. That's true. Well, I mean, and Luke, his nephew as well. Luke was yeah. already training him, and he. Yeah. yeah. Wait, did he banish him, or did Kylo Ren? Kylo Ren destroyed just, everything. He yeah. Killed everybody. A lot like Anakin. Kind somewhat. of. Yeah, and that's why Luke left and is living up so on the mountain. Is he just gonna? Roll out the welcome welcome wagon. Yeah, no, what? I think that's going to be something that Ray wants. And I think in the trailer we've but seen Lu- that he Luke won't allow. Want, he doesn't. It's want probably going to take a lot of this. convincing. Yeah, I I think, I think he's very like I do not want to be a part of this. That is true. Yep. We're going to cover Yoda. Yoda showing up. What are the chances? One to ten. We're doing at the end of our. We're going to start doing polls of like because we we are very short on time and we're going to do polls. One to ten. You know, one being the least, ten being the greatest. Do you think Yoda, Force Ghost, will show up in the Last Jedi? Um, I would say that Yoda, out of any other Force Ghost, has probably has the best chance. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. behind Obi Wan, but yeah. they've already had Ben Kenobi as a Force Ghost. Yeah. So I think they might try and start something new. But, yeah. Uh, I don't think they'll touch Anakin because they don't want a chance. They don't want any chance of the prequels screwing up the new movies. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, Anakin, I give it a zero out of ten. Um, I think Obi Wan gets like a a solid six out of ten. Yeah, yeah. And then I think Yoda gets like an eight for me. For me, Anakin is a zero. Um, I don't think he's going to show up. Plus, there hasn't you know I, I know they can they idea. can hide cast members coming in, yeah. but uh, there hasn't even been like speculation of Anakin showing up. What do you so, think about Obi Wan and Yoda making? I've heard very strong. I've heard speculation for Obi Wan, but I've heard very strong speculation about Yoda <laughs> because of be they awesome. they when they when they're filming the movie they they released the like filing permits of what you know the set just for safety reasons mm-hmm. and they said and it said in that like that day's shoot that it it was a set that had to accommodate a little puppet and on that same day Frank Oz went into the to film okay he was there at Luke he was there at Pinewood for just some odd reason why would he go to Pinewood on the same day that they're needing a little puppet Puppet, to film yeah I mean yeah I think that uh, bringing both Obi-Wan and uh, Yoda would would be a major in my mind if if Obi-Wan showed up I can't I want I I have an 8 out of 10 for Yoda I'm yeah. very, I'm very like. Well, I think Yoda will show up. Now that you say up. that, I'm totally convinced yeah. that he's probably. And plus, I mean, Luke had to be talking to somebody while he's up on that mountain, and 
Yeah. I, I think that Yoda will be there kind of like guiding Luke as he f- attempts to guide Rey. Right. Oh. Especially when, when Kylo Ren gets into it. Luke, oh, yeah. Luke might not even know what to do, especially because I think – I really think that – it's not going to be a relationship, but a friendship between Ray and yeah. Kylo Ren. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I, when one. I say Raylo, I mean I mean that yeah. I think a team up is going to happen. I would like to see a romance, though, because I went back and I watched this video, and it was a 45 minute breakdown of the Raylo theory. And in The Force Awakens, when when Kylo Ren takes his mask off, like Ray was angry at him before he takes his mask off you can see in her face she's very angry he takes his mask off you know she and, wanted and reveals him. adam driver and all of a sudden her eye and they slowed the clip down her eyes she wanted him glance up and down at him and you know when you like somebody you glance up and down she at sized them. him up yeah and when, when he comes off, around and looks at her he's staring at her intently she's staring forward trying to remain calm in the force yeah Step but fast. then her eyes really quickly glance over. And you can see it. If you go back and watch the clip, you can see it. Her eyes quickly glance over at him. Mm-hmm. And even Kylo Ren, when um he when he's out when he meets her out in the force, he force swipes her and she goes down and he carries her like a bride. He carries her to the bridal mm-hmm. position yeah. up into the mm-hmm. And with Poe, he I just think grabbed that's just him. A minor detail. With yeah. Poe, he just knocked him out and grabbed him and brought him on the ship. And was very violent with Poe. That is true. He was not violent whatsoever. But it, it was also because with Snoke, Snoke wanted him to bring Ray back. So it's like, yeah, Snoke. He, he doesn't I, and plus, bring her, I think they they damage. know who this girl. Yeah. Is. She's special. It wasn't I, I don't like think dead it has or alive. Anything to do with her parents. It was, it was strictly alive. Yeah, she I think her, she her parents are just normal people. Um, just like every mm. other Jedi minus Luke. All right, I got something to say about Luke. I just thought of this on the spot. What if uh, there's been a lot of speculation about Luke, like not really turning to the dark side, but he's He's gone. He's gotten close to turning to the dark side. He's while like he's been neutral. On the island. He's in the middle. What if he's been talking to multiple force ghosts and he's been like in between, and that could be why he's like a gray Jedi now, supposedly. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Never yeah. That. I think if they really wanted to shake things up, though, they're going to bring back Obi Wan and Yoda, and Luke is going to have some sort of internal conflict that just, even if he's not on the light side right now, he's not on the dark side. He's kind of gray Jedi. He's in the middle. Yeah. And final final topic, do, uh, actually, real side note. Do you think, just real quick, yes or no answer? Do you think that they will bring up Han Solo's death in the Last Jedi? Mm. If they will bring it up, yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. I think they need to because it takes place right after the first one. I think there's going to be. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a major point. I think there's just going to be a minor, yeah, you know, minor scene. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I don't know. But I don't yes. think it's going to be like a, a story <laughs> point, but I think it will be something. I, I think they need to address it. Because you can't just sh- – like it literally it, – the movie when will you, start right when yeah. the first one ended. You could connect the two. And Han hasn't died. He hasn't been dead that long. He's been dead maybe, what, a couple days? Maybe? Yeah, and when you have a character that big, maybe that plays a such days. a big role in yeah, the entire I, they need to address it. I don't know series. if they're going to have a funeral or not, but I, they need to address it at least. Oh, yeah. All right, final question. Ray's parentage. Do you think her parents are special or do you think they're just nobodies? Well, there's definitely no chance that there are nobodies because she is so powerful. Yeah. But um, that really – I really honestly do not know who could be her parents. I don't think it's Luke. I'm no, for, I'm I, for sure no about I don't that. think it's I don't Luke. think it's Luke. Yeah, I don't think it's Luke, but uh, her parents are definitely going to be somebodies. They're not going to be a nobody. Yeah. Nobody looks a nobody. I'm interested, I'm interested in finding out because I, I would be okay with her – being from just regular people, just like every other Jedi. I don't think, I think that's, it'd be I don't cool think if that's she just was realistic, the only though. Jedi to ever come from another Jedi. Every other Jedi has just been from a normal mm. set of parents. And I think maybe But in Rey, the trailers, you hear about how powerful she is. Yeah, no other, she, no she other is, Jedi. Yeah, no other the, Jedi. Have you heard about the, uh, the Obi-Wan? She's Obi-Wan's granddaughter I think she's theory. definitely... I Honestly, if I'm going to believe any, in anything about her, like, about her, her lineage, lineage, I think she's definitely a descendant of Obi-Wan, if anybody... That would be cool because I always feel like Obi Wan's thrown on the back burner because he's like that older, nicer yeah. gentleman. But he's really a cool character. Obi Wan's a man. Yeah, I've heard about her being a descendant of Palpatine, also. Oh yeah, but I don't um, know if I believe yeah. that theory. I don't know about that. But I, I think the age would be a little different. I think he would be her a great. Yeah. Brother. Yeah. I think she would be the great like granddaughter of the Palpatine. I think. Yeah, I just don't see her coming from nobody's. Yeah, you know, 
Just, I mean, like if they don't even mention who her parents are, you know. Yeah, I understand. Just completely avoid if, the question. If other Jedi's, other just like mediocre, average Jedi's, just come from nobody, but somebody that strong, she yeah. has to have some sort of. Oh yeah, I, I believe that yeah. as well. Well, this has been the Old Boys Podcast. Um, thank you for joining us. We Ooh. will be back on Monday talking about the Last Jedi after we've all yep. seen it. Of course. And uh, thank you for when liking. Are you going to see it? Uh, thank you for visiting and watching this video. Please He's like. See it tomorrow. You going to see it tomorrow? Oh, I'm seeing it tomorrow. Yeah. Saturday. You seen it Saturday? Yeah, yeah we're seeing cool. Saturday. So we can speak Carson, about it Monday. Carson and Ben are seeing it tomorrow. Yeah. I hope they don't. I don't even know if I want to show up to school because I'm afraid they'll spoil something. Yeah. I don't want to know anything. That's the great thing about the marketing is they haven't revealed any of the story. I have no clue what the yeah. story is. Yeah. Totally. So. Please like and subscribe, uh, Old Boys at the Roundtable on Le- YouTube. We've got a lot of reaction videos, uh, podcasts, different stuff. We got some new things coming very soon. Um, thank you for joining us. I'm Jaron. I'm Brett. See you later. I'm Brandon. Catch you on the flip side.